All right, so welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is One, and I am your spiritual advisor. Thank you all for uh, coming back. Like, share, subscribe. All my beautiful messengers, I really enjoy connecting with you. So we are uh, at the Divine Feminine's reading. And I'm hopping right in because uh, as I was getting the vibe and choosing the music vibe, I clicked on this video uh, randomly. And uh, this song I've never heard before came on by uh, Malta, uh, Michael Bolton. So I'm going I'm to let this play in the background uh, while we get into our reading. But yeah, this is definitely for you. And I definitely, uh, the energy of uh, coming in, Union is like uh, here. Don't you guys feel it? Like in the air, just something. I think it's called Soul Provider. And he's basically telling this woman, like, I want to be your soul provider. I want to be your everything. Wow. Look at us, us on the bottom of the deck coming in, Divine Feminines. All right, so listen. Give you my world. Stick to my guns. Believe me when I tell you it's just begun. This is how your divine masculine sees you. But this reading is all about you, right? This is the second half of the as is reading. All right. So we'll be getting into your world and seeing what's on your mind. But meanwhile, per usual, the divine masculines are loud as fuck. So with this song, he's basically saying he wants to be your soul's uh, provider. I'll put it in the uh, description box. All right. So we can get back to that. But that's good energy leading in. And then we're starting off with the Six of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. All right. I like that energy going into uh, our reading, Divine Feminines. You know why? Because at the end of the day, regardless of what a motherfucker got to say, you are that bitch. You are a motherfucking winner. <laughs> like, period. Like, period. And I feel a lot of... Uh, divine feminines uh, really owning that and really grabbing hold of that and really, you know, trying on that jacket and trying on that dress and trying on those heels of, of confidence and um, quiet or loud assertiveness, uh, depending on what the situation, <laughs> you know, calls for. But yeah, you know what I mean? Um, even if everything is imperfect, you're lining your shit up, you're on the road, you're on the pathway. Uh, getting your ducks in a row you know what I mean and just really um, uh, just owning your energy and owning your essence and owning um, you know just the uh, the perimeters of, of your life setting those boundaries right and I feel like uh, again this this six of wands energy for me is this uh, well they'll be able to see you but they won't quite have access here right it's like they're going to be behind the gates watching you, right? Maybe even your uh, divine masculine, but no, uh, he's coming in very strong uh, with this uh, with this song energy. He wants to be your soul provider, sliding into MJ. Okay, this might be a good mix for us, ladies. All right, but yeah, yep, he's saying the girl. <laughs> oh my God, I can't make this shit up. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> Oh my God, per usual, hogging up all the time. This is supposed to be all about you, but uh, DM's definitely been wanting to get some things off their chest. So he's saying you're mine. You know what I mean? You might got a couple of people that are eyeing you. You out there looking good. You're on your boss shit. You've been smart, witty, whatever. You know what I mean? You got a people, few people eyeing you, and your DM's like, um, <laughs> what the fuck you thought? <laughs> Where are you going? Where do you think you're going, right? And maybe putting the uh, competition under the feet, right? And this is also your energy, Divine Feminine. Putting those things that no longer serve you, uh, doing away with those things that are beneath you. You know what I mean? And, and, and putting uh, some distance between yourself and energy that is uh, beneath you. Holding on to yourself, holding on to your essence, holding on to your vision, right? 
But yeah, uh, so in that case, it's a mirroring energy, right? But yeah, I feel like uh, your your masculine's also saying you're a winner in my eyes. You're a queen. I, I I I lift you high. You know, maybe it didn't start off that way. Maybe it took a while to get there. But to me, this is a, a um, this is I recognize you. I see you. You know, for who you are and as you are here. And uh, I don't want to let you go. And even in your case, you know, you uh, deciding whether you're going to hold on or whether you're going to uh, uh, let go of this relationship. And not only the relationship with your twin flame or whoever you may be entertaining, but people, places, things again, like family, friends, work. You know what I mean? Is she? We should be doing, like I said, a massive clearing out. If you've been connecting with me on Twitter, um, hopefully, guys, follow me on Twitter at One Message Tarot because, I, like I told some folks, I'm like I'm doing a mass clearing out of energy. You know, it's just like life is too short. We only need people who really support us, right? The uh, people who want to see us win with this six of wands, right? So you've got to really have your due diligence to clear out those energetic fields of people that are just hanging around, uh, giving you evil eye, bad energy, not being supportive. You know what I mean? Like that cock blocking energy and all that. And you know them. You know what I mean? Like stop. We got to we, we gotta stop being nice. You know what I mean? I'm saying that to all my feminines and all my empaths and all the ones that just want everybody to get along. But, you know, just again, you got to kick these motherfuckers out. You know what I mean? Because they're holding up the line and you got places to go, honestly. You know, and I feel that's your energy, uh, Divine Feminine here, right? So you're in the energy of, um, you know, deciding what you're going to hold on to, what you're going to let go. Because basically, it's like, I got places to go. I got places to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Endings with the world card. Closing those cycles out. Again, catch and release is what I hear. Catch and release. That's when you go fishing and, uh, ew, fishing. I ain't did that in a long time. <laughs> Somebody goes fishing. Somebody likes to go fishing. Um, yeah, but catch and release when you, you know, you throw your bait out there, you cast on, you look at it, you just say, oh, is this what I want? Uh, no, it's not what I want. Maybe it wasn't the type that I want, whatever. And you, you know, save his life, basically, and you throw it back out there. You know what I mean? For it to continue on. Uh, that was something I said right there. Save a life. Right. You don't take that person or that place or thing through the uh, energetic uh, drama and all the time. You know, it's like this. This isn't for me. And so then you send it back in. Uh, sometimes those endings are. I don't know. We should just be making things less complicated when it's time to move on and move beyond an energy or relationship. You know when that cycle is ended. So instead of fighting that cycle, just let it flow. Because God wouldn't be clearing something away, especially, you know, we're talking about love here, you know, feminines and masculines. God wouldn't be clearing away something if he wasn't bringing in what was destined for you, what was specifically tailor made to you. Sometimes you got to take those L's and be like, okay, I made the wrong call on that one. Even when you've invested time, even when you've invested years, doesn't mean that you haven't given up. It's just, it's two different energies and you know more now supposedly or you're growing more now maybe not both partners but maybe one partner is awakened the other is asleep but you already know that if you continue down that road it's just gonna you know and i'm not promoting separation or anything like that fight for love fuck that but i i think you guys know where i'm going here right so um you know, Divine Feminine, I feel like you're at a place where you're at peace with those things. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, closing those doors and closing those, those cycles on things that um, no longer um, really serve you. I feel like you're also, you're getting, you're, you're looking forward to it. <laughs> Almost, you're like, okay, I'm gonna rock with this here because this is solid. This has always been true, and I'm being divinely guided. I know this is for me. Everything else can get the fuck on. You know what I mean? So I feel like, um, like again, you're at peace and you're ready for um, a new beginning or you know whatever that may be here. Uh, your divine masculine may be concerned about whether he's part of. Um, that ending cycle, right? I just saw the Ace of Swords here. So you may be wanting to come through um, with some truth. Oh, shit. Oh, boo. This might get ugly. <laughs> this might get ugly. So you're masculine. Uh, 
wants a new beginning and, and, and wants to definitely probably come through uh, with some truth here, some definitive truth um, is what I'm hearing, right? Uh, on the other side of it, maybe he just wants to come clean. Maybe he just wants to confess some things. Whatever these things are that he will confess, you're going to need some strength. It's going to be like that energy of, babe, sit down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what I need to sit down for? Okay, sit down. Now, I'd rather stand type energy. That's what I'm feeling, right? And, uh, you know, you just, uh, you might, you, I just heard you might need to take a pregnant pause. And again, coming after that is the moon, right? So that is secrets being uh, revealed. Um, if that's the case, you know, I mean, hey, uh, applause, you know, because it takes a lot for, you know, your divine partner to be at a place where they're vulnerable and they're ready to be transparent and come clean. So if that is the case, then kudos for that ascension. They're on the right path because if you're on your way to your union, then you know at some point that you have to clear up all misconceptions, all uh, de deceptions, discrepancies, all that shit, right? Clean slate. Which is why that um, world card is here. That was an intermission. If you take whatever you bring. Yes. So yeah, with those uh, those closing of the cycles here, you know, um, you're at a point, divine feminine, where you want absolute truth, and if you can't get absolute truth, then you just rather uh, let whoever and whatever and wherever go. You know what I mean? I feel like you're saying that I'm going to live in my absolute truth. That you're gaining the strength, you're getting the strength, you're feeling comfortable in your skin, you're feeling comfortable in your crown and standing in your power, and you're just like, if it ain't true, if it ain't, if it's not about uh, truth, uh, authenticity, um, transparency, then I'm walking away for it because what I've done uh, while you've been on you know, whatever, all this mess, your, your secrets and, 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 and your hidden things and, and deceptions or whatever they may be. Uh, while you've been sitting with that, I've been doing the work, uh, to, to tame my demons, right? To, I've been doing the work to send. I, I, I'm serious about this divine path thing, right? And so you're just, uh, you're, you're at a place, uh, with that, uh, at every sector in your life, right? Even within your, um, your uh, twin flame energy here, but I definitely feel like your masculine is coming forward with some with an absolute truth again with this ace of swords, and you're either gonna be it's either gonna be a go or it's, it's gonna be a no. Um, but I feel like if you have any questions, divine feminine, that that would be the time to answer uh, to ask them right because you're going to get the answer. It's like if you you can't handle the truth if you ask for it, bitch, be ready for it and don't be you know what I mean like you ask so I feel like they're definitely ready to spill i feel like they uh they're gaining their strength to really be vulnerable i feel like they're coming through to uh clear up some confusion <laughs> he's like where are you going somebody asking is like where are you going i'm confused i'm confused at why you're you know shutting the door or shutting me out or blocking me or something like that there there's some confusion here so i'm here uh to clean it up and i feel the feminine also just being like good because i need fucking answers and if i can't get answers then you know i'm gonna do some other things here because i have options and i don't want to waste my time you know what i mean like uh i feel i see a feminine just rolling the dice here right and and yeah Definitely some harsh communication here coming through with the knight of with the knight of swords here, um, but you know again feminine stand in your power um, and and I, again this is more than just relationships I just feel in your life in general that you standing in your power offends people right so you may have um, some sharp words coming towards people especially with the holidays coming you know how it go people love to talk slick shit during the holidays and this just might be the last holiday where. You have to, you know, you really show uh, folks uh, your true power, like the real you and standing in your authority, right? Especially if you're on this uh, spiritual journey. Life is too short to live fake, so you might as well get comfortable, you know, in your own skin, right? But yeah, I also feel like, a, 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 again, a masculine coming in to uh, be vulnerable, maybe share some secrets, clear up some confusion. Uh, but it, it, it'll be from a wounded place. He may talk slick. I see a lot of gaslighting, gaslighting, manipulation, 
all that, you know, to the point to, again, where it's like, okay, if that's the energy you're going to be in, I'm not trying to hear that. Again, she's facing away, you know what I mean? And he's chasing after her, right? He's probably chasing after her because of that world, because somebody uh, did decide to end things because of secrets, because there was too much um, um, confusion, right? But let's see here. Yeah, feminists, I feel as an uh, overall, you're done with um, just the bullshit, really. I just feel um, like you're just like, I'm too grown for that. I just want to live in peace. I just want to get my bag. I just want to focus. Yeah. Clarifying the um, six of wands here. Yeah, concerned. You have a lot of people concerned because you're not moving how you usually move. You know what I mean? And I, I'm feeling like... Uh, just a, a walkover type of energy, uh, 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 a silent where maybe you just don't speak your truth, op, you know, often, but now you're really asserting yourself and standing in your power, and that's leaving folks concerned, right? You may have been even concerned that you were losing, you know, yourself by not really standing up to uh, these different energies that are draining to you and toxic to you in your life, and it's like, bitch, I'm losing myself trying to. Um, you know, get along with people that don't mean me well anyway, you know what I mean? So it's just like a, a self-preservation type thing, right? And I feel like you're not even, um, it's like, I love you, but stay over there, <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's been concerning to people. This new you, this new you standing in your power is like shaking everybody within your circle, wherever you're applying, yep, you're applying this pressure, Mm hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's some feminists that are really loving themselves for the first time in their life. Yep. Clarifying this four of pentacles, right? Mature. It's like you only want people around you that are talking sense, right? It's like talk like you got some sense, act like you got some sense, behave like you got some sense, come in with the energy like you got some sense. And if not, then I don't want an audience with you. <laughs> like, what's an audience? Look at that. You know what I mean? It's just like you're not entertaining those things, right? You're not entertaining those things. You're just trying to be about um, your business. So you're releasing, um, I feel feminine, uh, just energies that don't come uh, to you and don't approach you um, in, in the proper manner and bringing the um, energetic balance is, is what I'm hearing, right? Let's clarify that world card. Mm hmm. See, people were fine with you as long as uh, you were losing. People were fine with you as long as you were down on yourself. People were fine with you, divine feminine, as long as you were depressed. Your divine masculine was fine as long as you were, you know, watching the cheating and observing the holes and the backstabbing and the lies and the gossip and, you know, the friends who weren't friends and all that. And people, you know, were, were fine as long as you were in despair and... Uh, you know, feeling down on themselves because you're surrounded by basic energetic vampires, right? But that's an end, like that the cycle has come to a close. This is on the world card. Those days are long gone for you, Divine Feminine. You've been experiencing some challenges and some trials and a lot, like all that. The, the despair is over. It's a brand new day. It is a brand new day. I just feel like uh, you have the energy of like, I'm over it, right? I'm over uh, being sad about it or I'm over going back and forth about it, right? I don't feel like you're talking anymore. I don't feel like you care to talk. And again, this isn't just about love. This can apply to any area of your life. Some job that you're just like, you know what I'm tired of and I'm going to do something else, right? Or those family relationships, those, um, those, those, uh, Tough talks that need to be had, right? Toil and labor. Yes, on this Ace of Swords. Here. I feel like you are you may have been the only one really working to maybe maintain these relationships, right? And now you're coming to the harsh truth. This is like, well, why expand? You know, why, why put myself through it? Why give out uh, all this energy and all this love that I'm not going to be giving in return, right? I'm just depleting myself here, right? And so the hard truth is to go into this new beginning that I have to go into this, this life, this light, 
where, you know, I put me first and I take care of me first and I honor me first, then the truth of the matter is I'm going to have to let some people, places, or things go with that four of pentacles, right? Parting is such sweet sorrow is what I just heard. Yeah, that you're the privileged lady. Yes, here with the strength card. On your divine path. What? Oh my God. Here. On the divine path where? To sudden wealth. Oh, she says slow down. Slow down. Let me give you one more. One more. To marriage. To union. What? Okay, so let's reverse. Right? We have the privileged lady here. Yes, you have. You. <laughs> You actually have the strength to do the spiritual work, to do the divine work, right? I feel like the real feminists took their focuses, you know, uh, not, I wouldn't say not necessarily uh, doing away with the uh, material things like that. I feel you're very goal oriented and going after, you know, uh, facets of your divine purpose and all that. But the real work is in the spirit. The real work is in changing yourself and getting that knowledge and, and balancing those chakras and cleansing your home and, you know, praying for your masculine and all that. You know what I mean? Like six of wands. That's why you're coming in, right? The, you, you're seeing your worth. You know your work. She's all in white. You have virtue. Okay, you are chaste. You know what I mean? This is a different type of energy here. This is a different type of uh, drip here. Okay, a different type of drip here, right? We ain't just letting <clears throat> we ain't just letting everybody in the door. We ain't. You know what I mean? We're in the pathway to truth. Clarifying this moon card here, away from secrets, away from lies. We're, we're we're trying to get illumination with these butterflies here. We're trying to transform. Not trying to. We are. We are transforming here, right? Because you got the mature woman. I feel like you're letting everybody know that within your path. You know, this is what I really want. You're making a statement to your divine masculine. I'm on a path. This is what I really want. You know, I'm not confused about things here. With the seven of cups, sudden wealth. I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table. Not only physically, mentally, and uh, but but spiritually. You know what I mean? It's just a, a well that that overflows, right? So it's just like the only people that are confused are the people that think that they can stay in in your life and in your energetic field and 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 use you as a resource and still be toxic while doing it. No, you're on a divine path. You have a divine purpose, right? And you're calling in your divine partner here with the marriage card. And he's clarifying the Knight of Swords. So you may be having somebody. I just, I. <laughs> oh, Lord. Maybe. <laughs> that was another intermission. But we're back. Oh, you call me. Because I'll be here standing waiting. And then you insist to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, but um, so I see somebody uh, definitely coming in with this nine of <laughs> swords in this marriage card. All right. Remember I told you, you your divine masculine is going to do, do a pull up probably over the holiday, right? Because there's been some separation. Maybe you su shut some shit down or, or whatever. And I get the energy of like, yeah, he's going to be spilling it. He's going to be telling you and answer your, answering your questions. You know what I mean? About where was you on this night? What, you know, whatever your questions are. It's like the energy of somebody coming in, uh, talking shit, but at the same time, like, but I love you, girl. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you may have caught me with that bitch, but, but I love you, girl, and marry me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, admit it, taking the accountability, but no accountability. Or if I am going to be accountable, I want to, you know, say it like, Real quick, and not let you get a word in, and then can we just move on? You know, what I mean, can we just move on beyond all the other bullshit and all the, you know, because this is the end goal. I don't, you know, again, I don't know. It's, you know, the ball is in your court at the end of the day, uh, divine feminine. But I feel either way, you're on a divine path, and I feel like you, again, with that seven of cups on the board here, you have options, so you may have several. Uh, suitors uh, looking at you whatever the case may be you are on the divine path to uh, <laughs> to union uh, wealth here at the bottom of the car uh, the deck yeah change great fortune 
here. So this may also uh, mean a change of residence. All right. Your divine masculine may be asking you to move in with them. Uh, oh, so you, oh, we have the sudden wealth and great fortune. That's twice. So that's clarifying that energy uh, coming in at the beginning of the reading, Divine Feminine, is where he was just like your sole provider. So this is very strong. This is somebody that definitely wants to take care of you. Somebody that definitely here with the house wants to give you the beautiful home, wants to be, he said, protector, provider, all of those things, right? Uh, might have a little mouth on him though, but you know, again, that's, that's, if you like it spicy, amen, I ain't got no problem with it, but again, he's going to be, you know, uh, they're going to be uh, telling you what you want to know, and then uh, with trying to move on from there. So let's pull some love oracle cards. All right, so let's pull your energy towards uh, your divine masculine right now. All right. And also because you made those changes in your personal life, again, other people are just going to have to be observant as you, as you go on to win, right? As you move beyond the manipulations and the lies and you really start to make smart choices and... Uh, You'll be glad that you walked away. You'll be glad that you closed out those cycles, Divine Feminine. All right, what's your energy for your towards your Divine Masculine? Very choppy, these cards are here, right? What's the Divine Feminine's energy towards your Divine Masculine? Oh, shit. Is this take a bow, bitch? Oh, my God. Okay. Hey, that's the shit. If you don't know about that, somebody put that in the comments. Take a bow about Madonna. This is the shit. Okay, so your energy towards your divine masculine, Sigmund Freud. <laughs> you say this motherfucker needs therapy. You say he needs therapy. This is funny. Okay. It says the behavior of a human in sexual matters is often a prototype for the whole of his life. The behavior of a human in sexual matters is often the prototype for the whole of his life, right? So I do uh, feel a, a sense of um, uh, maybe some sexual tension here. Uh, within the dynamic, I don't know if you're abstaining within the dynamic or you're holding off because of, of an argument or, or whatever. Or maybe somebody's like uber aggressive when it comes to the bedroom, maybe just wanting it all the time and, you know, or, or vice versa and, and all that. But um, this card is basically saying like, the, you know, decide right now what is your... Uh, what do you call that? What do they say? Your hard no's or soft yeses or something like that. And no, you know, it's like basically understand what you're signing up for, right? Understand what you're signing up for and what you're getting into. And this is your energy, Divine Feminine, right? Uh, with friends, it says pure masculinity or femininity is not to be found. Right. So I feel like um, this is an energy, again, this is, take me as I am, take me, you know, as is, I'm going to lay it all out for you, I'm going to bear, like, this is, this is who I am in essence, and I'm on the road to discovering who I am in essence, and it's not going to be all good, and it's not going to be all bad, but understand that while there isn't a, a perfect, and, and a perfect way to do things, sometimes there is a right way to do things. Okay, I don't know if y'all got that, but that's what I just got. <laughs> okay, so it says the behavior of a human in sexual matters is often the prototype for the whole of his life. So if you know that you're a particularly frigid, you know, person, and I wouldn't say I'm frigid, I am celibate, I'm definitely not frigid. I will slap a dick, you know what, leave it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, well, you just want your divine masculine uh, to know that, uh, in the bedroom, this is where you are. And, and you know, just I just feel like take me as I am and understand that this is me, right? All right, let's see his uh, energy towards you. <laughs> the virtuous content themselves with dreaming of what the wicked do in real life. Yeah, I feel like you really have been uh, a little, uh, you, again, with a mature woman here. 
you've been reserved in all those things. You've really set yourself apart is what I'm feeling, right? And I feel like you're telling your divine masculine, you're just like, you know, look, I'm not the energy of what you're used to dealing with. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't enter, entertain that because I am. It is the energy of being set apart if you have been doing the work, right? And also maybe telling him to, to examine uh, his sexual proclivities and, you know what I mean? Depending on if, it, if it's creating a blockage within the relationship, right? I would think about, you know, the areas of like porno or, or something like that and having unreasonable expectations in the bedroom or something like that. You know, those type of things you want to get therapy for, look into before you kind of hop into your, or at least be working on it. Or, you know, again, that may be some of the secrets coming in here, right? All right. So your masculine is energy or vice versa. Because again, Sigmund is the male and Josephine coming in as the female. This is representing your masculine's energy. It's not about beauty. It's about luck and who loves you. Dance your way into immortal love. Oh, he gets it now. He gets it now. He understands you're a star. He understands who you are. This may be he probably didn't see your value at first, but I think he gets it now, you know, and understands that it's not about the things uh, and the characteristics or, or the whatever that society uh, says we're supposed to have. It's about what moves your heart, what gives you that quiver in your belly, what makes the hair stand up on the back of your neck, what makes your breath... Uh, uh, what takes your breath away, what, you know, makes you finish another person's sentence or laugh at the same jokes or, you know what I mean, want to explore the same, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's I feel like he, he really gets it, right? And that's why he's moving towards you uh, with this vulnerable energy. Again, I feel like he's a little bit scared, you know what I mean? So he may be a little defensive because this is a new thing. This might be a person that... um never envision themselves explaining themselves to anybody <laughs> you know if that makes sense you know what i mean like the goal you know what i mean but i feel the feminists again with that mature energy you're representing that energy that's like i said calling them to the mat and just like come correct so it's like you have no choice because i'm not gonna allow you to deal with me or treat me like you treat whoever else you entertained before we found each other on our divine path. You understand what I'm saying? But I think he gets it now. It's not about beauty. It's about luck and who loves you. So this is like, I'm not going to let this pass me by again with that world card. You know, it's an opportunity with the ace of swords. This is the divine truth. This is your opportunity to really grab hold of something. Dan into something that is forever. To something that is legendary. It says, dance your way into a mortal love. A love that is that is here and and ever after literally you know what i mean like and and you could really take this uh energy somewhere if you really want to get deep with it you know that energy is also kind of dangerous but hey if that's how y'all want to ride out that's how y'all ride out and it just is what it is you know i don't mind that energy that's the type of energy i want i want a motherfucker that don't play about me you understand what i'm saying like that's why i've waited so long because i didn't entertain so many motherfuckers that played about me you know what i mean and then but it starts at home it starts with the father you know what i mean if i don't have a father that don't play about me you know what i mean then i'm gonna entertain a bunch of fucking clowns that that if I have a father that, you know, not that don't play about me, but doesn't give a fuck. You know what I mean? You understand. Flip flop it. Then I'm entertain a bunch of niggas that, you know, bring the same energy that really don't care about me. No. So I have to flip that. This is what I want. This is the energy of what I want. You know what I mean? My man, my divine masculine, do not fucking play about me. Point blank, period. Before, the, from the beginning moment that he decided... You know what I mean? I'm the one. I'm his. Then you understand what that, you know, what what an undertaking that is if you're trying to be with me. You know what I mean? So again, that's why I'm celibate and waiting. Because that's a specific, that's a specific manifestation. That's a specific energy. And everybody ain't got that. Everybody ain't built like that. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You know, so that's, you know, it, that's just different right it's just a different energy you're calling in and you know whatever it is for you feminine you know whatever your things are whatever's on your list you know what i mean it's a specific you know type of thing here and so everybody not every person can just feel that shoes you know and, and sometimes you get to a point 
where you're you're just not entertaining anything if it's not that you know what I mean you may have some fun you may you know smile crack a few jokes or whatever but like seriously entertaining somebody like no I feel like the feminines are like you know all or nothing here you know what I mean either way I'm put myself in a position to win I'm gonna you know I'm gonna win either way basically all right but your masculines are definitely uh, coming in, uh, saying that they recognize, saying that they know, uh, saying that they understand. Again, answering uh, any uh, questions you may have, clearing up the confusion is what I'm saying uh, in regards to his feelings and how he feels for you and what uh, is the expectations within the relationship. Um, again, definitely want to uh, provide for you. Um, uh just someone who says that, you know, I hold you in, 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 in high esteem. Like, I understand. I, I get it now. I, I, I get the soul level of this love. All right. And uh, maybe even a proposal. It is the holidays. Okay. You may even be changing residence here with that house, right? Great fortune all the way around is what uh, the general energy I'm picking up, Divine Feminine. All right, let's see your masculine's intimate uh, energy with you. How he, uh... <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, I don't know what is going on here. He like, I just give up. He's like, okay, have it your way. Have it your way. He's like, I'm finna get this is the <laughs> and this is basically the king of coins here, right? But that, <laughs> this energy is so funny. <laughs> She's like, I'm glad you see things my way. This is the energy like where she allows him to believe that he's in control, but she she's she's really in control here. Look at this. You see what she <laughs> this is in the back. The queen of the castle, really. You know what I mean? Even though he's in a in a position of authority or giving her, you know, everything he's got, basically, so much so that she needs to hold on to a chair. But you know, your masculine is basically saying, "I give up. Have it your way. Have it your way." You know what I mean? Have it your way. And at the same time, again, uh, he's going to be giving you the best of him. This is basically what this is saying, right? Even with the car, you know, he'll be giving you the best of him, right? And that he sees things your way, you know, and he's saying, hold on tight. I'm going to, you know, give you everything you've ever desired here with that king of pentacles, basically. Hold on to your, hold on to your seats. He's like, all right, you asked for it. Especially if you've been manifesting and all that, the end of the cycle, the end of the old ways of, you know, he's giving that all up. He's, he's leaving that. This is probably an emotional time for him, especially if you got him cutting out bitches. He's like, oh, look, I got to cut out my bitches. I got to burn my black book. <laughs> you know what I mean? He might be a little pissed about that, coming in with that nine, uh, that Knight of Swords energy, right? But uh, he's ready to do it. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it all up. You know, he said, I'm going to give it all up for you, and I'm going to give you everything that... Uh, that I have in me and hold on to your seats. Basically is what he's saying is get ready. Hold on to your seats there. Uh, Divine Feminine, right? Because I'm going to give you the world is what I heard. And let's see what's your intimate energy towards your Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine. Let's see. Okay. We got three cards here. All right. So we have the six of coins here. It says the six of something else, but I feel like you just definitely, yeah, you can't wait to, uh, you can't wait to connect, right? I feel you can't wait for the reunion, and I feel like uh, this is a very comfortable, nurturing type of position, you know, at home. You like you're just comfortable with this person, right? And I feel that uh, once everything is uh, cleared up, that uh, you'll be in a, a just a, just the energy of um, 
just uh, just nestle is what I heard a nestling like you nestle nestle up together and you and you begin you know like setting up house setting up home that type of energy uh, I feel like uh, with this two of wands here it's that energy of you know uh balance bringing balance to that situation choosing to really go on the adventure choosing to really uh be vulnerable right and 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 to let this person again to, to take care of you right here to uh trust this person right you have to really trust somebody you're going to be hanging off the side of a bathroom you know what i mean so it's just like um that energy of, of it all coming together, right? And understanding that everything that you saw and everything that you envisioned is coming to pass. You are safe with this person. This is a person that's going to provide. This is a person that's going to uh, protect. This is a person that comes in balance, that will create balance, that will uh, bring that uh, equal reciprocity here and and, and divinely guided. And, and, and uh, you know, so it's, it's just, it's a beautiful energy here. It's a beautiful energy here. You know, and it's like, it's worth the wait. It's coming with this chariot card here, right? It's definitely coming. It's on its way to you. So again, I would hang on to my seats, especially, you know, I hear it. I'm hearing you don't see this coming, Divine Feminine. You don't see this coming. You're not going to see him coming, right? But uh, he he will be here, right? And uh, so, uh, yeah, hold on, hold on to your seats, right? I uh, got some turbulence coming in, but it, it is your masculine. And I couldn't be more thrilled for you and, and this uh, pathway and everything that's about to unfold beautifully uh, in your life. All right, one. You say, I'm going to make it. Fuck what you say, I'm going to take it. If it's haters around, I'm going to shake them. If that bitch want to clown, I'm going to bake her. If it's money around, I'm going to cake it. Backstabbing niggas talk around town. They call fakers. All the bitches that I hang around be money makers. Heartbreakers get dough by the pound. I love lies, 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 lies. Take a picture of me. I'm at the club every night getting lit, my homie. Blowing drove, popping mold, be the shit, my homie. Red carpet heads to toe, you know the niggas on me. I see you watching, I ain't stopping, killer for the critics. Yeah, I done did it, we done did it, niggas deal with it. It ain't no shame, cause that's the name. Player play the game. I force a head to sack my bread and count my blessings, man. My blessings, man, so. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' take it. Fuck what you say, I'm gon' make it. And I'ma take it, you niggas gon' 